Mathstudio.biz and MathDVDs.co.uk Higher Mathematics. <coughs> Lesson 47, Part 2. Addition and Subtraction of Algebraic Fractions. Write the following as single fractions in their simplest form. Now, as with addition and subtraction of ordinary fractions, the bottom numbers must be the same. If they're not, then you have to find the lowest common denominator, make them the same. But in this case, they are the same. So we've got 5x over 3 plus 8x over 3, which will give you 13x over 3. Nothing cancels, nothing simplifies, that's it. 3 over 8x plus 9 over 8x will give me a total of 11 over 8x because the denominators are the same. Subtraction denominators are the same. So 13 minus 7 will give me 6. But this will in fact cancel because 6 goes into 6 once and 6 goes into 18 three times. All simplify fractions where possible. In other words, cancel. So now we have the situation where the bottom numbers aren't the same, so the first thing we've got to do is to make them the same. Now before, when I did fractions, I did it as two separate fractions like that, but instead I'm going to do it like this. The, zone, the only difference is the setting out. So, this has been multiplied by 3, so 3 times x is 3x. This has been multiplied by 5, so 5 times x is 5x. So instead of writing it like that, I'm going to write it like this. It doesn't matter if you do it like this or not, it's just the way I do it. Nothing cancels. Lowest common denominator is 18. So 9 has been doubled, so I must double the 2x. The 6 has been trebled, so I must treble the 5x. And the answer is 19x over 18. Now we've got to consider both the number and the algebra. So 6x, 8x, 24x is a common denominator. 6x into that, so let's be multiplied by 4, 4, 5 is a 20. This has been multiplied by 3, so 3, 3 is a 9. This time we're subtracting, so that's the answer. Common denominator is 12. 3 4s are 12, so 3 times x is 3x. 4 3s are 12, so 4 times plus 2x is plus 8x, giving me plus 11x over 12. Common denominator is 15. 3 5s are 15, got to multiply that by 3. Now you can in fact work that out straight away, but I'm going to set it out by showing my working out. 15 into 15 goes 1. Always be extra careful with minuses. So it's actually minus 1 has got to be multiplied by both of those terms. So here I've got 3x minus 18 minus 1x plus 5. Now I do admit you can go straight from that line to that line. But I would rather go via that line. That's 4x and that will give me minus 13. The top won't factorise, so it won't cancel. Silly mistake, I was just glancing at that before I moved on. That's 3x minus 1x, so that's 2x there. Good job, I spotted that. So to add these two fractions together, I need a common denominator. And it's not terribly obvious there. Now what happens when it's not obvious what the common denominator is? Let's go back to this. If we multiply these two together, 4, 3 to 12, we will get a common denominator. It just happens to be the best because it's the lowest common denominator. Looking at this one, if we multiply 5 by 15 and get 75, 75 is a common denominator. It will work. We'll just have to do some cancelling when we're finished. However, spotting that 15 is the lowest common denominator is better. But it does solve the problem when you can't see 
what the common denominator is. The lowest common denominator, that is. Because we can always multiply the two bottom terms together, and that will be a common denominator. It may not be the lowest, but it'll be okay. So looking at this fraction, we need to multiply the top by x minus 2. The bottom has been multiplied by x minus 2, so the top must be multiplied by x minus 2. Let's look at this fraction. The bottom has been multiplied by x plus 5, so I must multiply the top by x plus 5. Brackets, just remove them, they're not doing a lot. We end up with 2x plus 3. Now let's look at this one. It's not obvious what the lowest common denominator is, so if I multiply these two together, I will get a common denominator. It may not be the lowest, but it'll do. Looking at this fraction to this fraction, the bottom has been multiplied by 3x minus 2, so I must multiply the top by 3x minus 2. In other words, here I need 5 multiplied by 3x minus 2. Looking at this fraction with this, the bottom has been multiplied by 2x plus 1. So I need to multiply the top by 2x plus 1. Making sure you get that sign there, especially if that's a minus, and then be careful. Removing the brackets, 5 times 3x, 5 times minus 2, plus 3 times 2x, plus 3 times 1. Simplifying the top, you've got 15x and 6x, which is 21x, minus 10, and plus 3 is minus 7. Now the top actually factorises, which may be useful. Let's have a look. The top factorises by taking a 7 out, leaving us with 3x there, and minus 1 there. So, if one of the bottom terms had been the same, I could have cancelled. As it turns out, that's as far as I go. So that answer is acceptable, and that answer is acceptable. Some would say that's better. So if we're going to write this as a single fraction, we need a common denominator. Now that multiplied by that will be a common denominator and it will work. However, it's always best to have the lowest common denominator. So after that, let's have a closer look at this. Because in fact it will factorise. So if I put the plus there and the minus there, that works. So in other words, the lowest common denominator is in fact this. Let's go back two pages and have another look at this one. The lowest common denominator was in fact this number, rather than using 75. So the same thing applies here. Rather than using that expression multiplied by that expression as the common denominator, we can just use this. Okay, looking at that with this, the bottom has been multiplied by this, so I need to multiply the top by that. I'm going to put one outside there, it's not actually necessary with one, but just to show you what's happening. Now this into this goes once. This into this goes once. So one times one is one. So on the top, I've got one x minus 2, and on the bottom I've got this, so on the top I end up with x minus 1, and on the bottom I end up with this. And if one of those brackets had been the same as that, then I could have cancelled it, but it isn't, so that's it.